Hello everyone, this is Discord Swift Tutorials Part 7, and in today's video I'm going to be going over the new guilds feature uh, that Discord just added two days ago. Discord just added a new guilds feature uh, on May 15th, uh, 2024, uh, which is only a couple days ago, uh, and basically it is a, um, a smaller, uh, as you can see, a small exclusive server. Uh, where people who regularly play games together, collaborate, compete, and hang out, uh, and guilds recruit members by application. Uh, another thing to note is guilds have a 200 member capacity. Uh, so essentially, uh, there will only be 200 people that can join. So it's it's pretty much um, it's pretty much like a premium sort of level Discord server, or like or like a small community Discord server. Or, or, or maybe even in it, or, or in other words, an exclusive uh, Discord server uh, for exclusive members only. So, uh, this feature uh, is currently an experiment and only available to a select number of servers as well as a select number of users. Uh, but uh, we can still view uh, all of the uh, changes here, uh, including how to create a guild. Uh, before everyone has access to it uh, because I'm not sure how long uh, it'll be uh, until everyone will have access to it uh, but currently only a certain amount of people do uh, and servers do uh, so starting off though we'll quickly go over their uh, tutorial on how to create a guild uh, and as you can see this is what what the uh, UI will look like uh, when you do create the guild um, so you could uh, create a guild from scratch by creating a brand new server so essentially uh, there'll be, uh, when you go uh, to Discord, uh, there'll be a plus icon, of course, when you click, when you create your server. Uh, yeah, but instead of creating a server, uh, there'll be an option to create a guild. Uh, and then it also says, or converting your current server. So you do have the option uh, to go into your server settings uh, and then go into the, uh, I believe there's a guild settings uh, section. I'm not sure if it goes over in this in here, uh, but I did see uh, some, some leaks of it. Uh, there's a guild setting section uh, where you can where you can choose. There'll be a little um, there'll be a little switch, and you could either choose uh, is like is this guild or is this server a guild or not? And it's pretty simple. It's it's literally one click uh, to turn it into a guild and to undo the two guilds. So once you turn it into a guild, you don't you know, it's not stuck as a guild. Uh, so that's one good uh, uh, plus side. Uh, but anyways, so these are the steps on creating guilds. So when you create a guild or start a new one. Or convert your server into one uh, it'll go through all these uh, steps here as you can see on the bottom of this tab uh, there's um, there is nine um, lines here or tabs uh, that you will go through or nine steps I guess you can say in creating your guild uh, that discord will take into account and, and basically customize your guild for you uh, so as you can see the first step is to choose the games you and your guild play together uh, so there'll be a selection of games. Uh, it says look for a game, so I'm assuming that you can't add games that that aren't in the Discord database for games. Uh, but I'm assuming Discord will have most of the at least popular games um, on their on their database. Uh, but it seems like you can only search uh, for the ones that they actually have on Discord. And also says here you could also change this later if you want to add more games or edit the current ones, uh, so you're not stuck with one game. Or if you want to add a bunch of games, you know it could be a um, a multi-games uh, guild uh, is totally fine. Uh, the next step step here is to select the playstyle. So, very simple. There's only four options: very casual, casual, competitive, and very competitive. So basically, how competitive are, is your playstyle? You know, if you're playing something like Minecraft, you know maybe it's going to be more casual or even very casual. I mean, Minecraft could be competitive too, but let's just say you're on the casual side of Minecraft. Uh, or, or another another case, it could be Apex Legends, and it'll be very competitive. Um, you know, it depends on the game, it depends on the community uh, that you're trying to make. Um, so yeah, so there's only four options for that. And then going down to step three, as you can see, it is an optional step, uh, but I'm assuming you will want to add at least one uh, of these uh, target audience traits. So for example, you could be choosing uh, your server uh, that most of your, of your players in your guild will be playing on, such as North America or EU. Uh, and then you could also like have such as a minimum age, a requirement and you could put that on the on the uh, guild on the guild uh, traits tab or you could add um, simple other traits like beginner friendly uh, streamers work-life balance etc etc you could probably create your own and essentially this is 
uh, once again, as you can see, choose the type of demographic you want to recruit to your guild. So it's essentially a recruiting method, uh, so then people that are wanting to apply to join your guild, uh, they can see the requirements or, or just what kind, type of community it is. Uh, so step four down here uh, is, is the tag. So these are the topics uh, that you'll add uh, that is, you know, in your, in, like, the interests uh, that your guild will offer. Uh, so it could be literally anything. Uh, there is a plus icon here, so I'm going to assume that you could create your own tags or topics, which makes sense because, I mean, there's infinite amount of topics you could have, like, like this one, like cups. Like, that's so random, right? Uh, so you could probably create, and you could do, uh, and there's probably some options here. Um, so that's simply... Uh, just another recruiting method, but this one is a required setting. So those are the three topics, and then step five. So step five, uh, you can write the discovery description uh, for your guild. So your guild, um, depending either if someone's clicking on your guild uh, because they're beside their username, or if you're, or if they're in the discovery, the Discord's uh, discovery, uh, and they, they they click on your guild, they want to see a description, just like servers, they have descriptions, right? Especially discovery servers. They have a description with it, so you know what the server is about. Uh, so in this case, we're telling you what the guild is about. For example, uh, this is just an example they get, uh, they're giving. Uh, it just says, we're a women gaming group that has been playing for a few months and are looking to add uh, add more smoke mains. Uh, we have weekly movie nights and plenty of snacks. So simple uh, s simple um, uh, description here. i uh, just tell you what it's about. Uh, and then you can see, oh yeah, how, how, how would you describe uh, your guild in three words? Uh, so you probably have a option it does say optional so you don't have to do this uh, but as well uh, you could also uh, put three words that will describe your entire guild so of course there'll probably be an option uh, I'm assuming when you click on these uh, boxes here uh, these like these are just the uh, the examples uh, but I'm, I'm assuming you could click into the cozy box and the crunchy box and then type in uh, whichever uh, word you like and then step six here is choosing your badge and tag now this is probably the most fun part of creating a guild because this is what everyone will see uh, when they're looking at your guild or looking at a user uh, that is in your guild. And I could show you this because uh, I did find a few users that do have uh, the guild tag on their user profile. Uh, so we could go back to Discord here. As you can see, I found a couple users. This guy has a cute tag and this one has a Papa one. Uh, but we could see uh, that it shows beside their username. Uh, so anyone at any time, if they see this user talking in any server, by the way, they don't have to be in in the guild itself like they could talk in any server and this will be by their name where you could click on and and, and uh, apply to join their guild so it's it's actually it's actually a great advertising method uh, for your guild considering you could chat anywhere and anyone can click on you and join um, so or well not join but apply so as you can see I clicked on their guild tag and you could see we could see the guild here so we could see uh, the different uh, tags so we have the tags here uh, and the, the server traits, or the, the guild traits, uh, we have the description here, uh, we have the uh, type of players it has, and then obviously the descriptive tags of the guild, the name, uh, the icon, and then we can see the tag here that they created, shows the amount of members and which games that they like to play. Uh, and then there is a button here to join, I already clicked it, uh, so it just says I am waitlisted, which means that I am on their application list, and they could either decline it or accept it. Uh, in that case though, Continuing on, so this is really cool because you could choose any symbol you like. Uh, I'm assuming it's probably set to a certain amount of badge symbols uh, because, well, uh, because you also have the option to customize the color to any color. So Discord probably just sets it to a smaller amount of badge symbols like you can't add your own or anything. Uh, but that's totally fine. So as you can see, they chose this icon here uh, and then they chose the color. So you can see it's pink instead of this color uh, that it originally was. Uh, and then you could choose... A max of four characters, a guild tag. For example, good luck, have fun, or GLHF. Um, so this is the tag that will be displayed beside all your usernames, as I showed here. Uh, which actually, and it looks pretty cool. And it does, it looks like uh, that you can use lowercase letters. Because some some uh, games uh, don't allow uh, lowercase letters in, in, guild, in guild tags or like club tags or whatever. Uh, but this one does. So, so you could do any type of word. Uh, that's four characters or, or letters that's four characters, but it can be uppercase or lowercase. So going on to step seven now, uh, you could basically choose the background on your guild uh, advertisement or your guild uh, page like when someone clicks on it. Now it looks like you can't have a custom image there. Maybe in the future they'll, they'll add an option. We could add a custom image, uh, but maybe not. Uh, but currently it only uses um, certain banners that Discord has added. So there's a bunch of different uh, 
uh, different types of themes here or, or types of uh, backgrounds and you can change the color of it including a custom color so this they give you a custom color option uh, but it's all their pre-made uh, banner uh, templates that they have uh, and then next is, is uh, part eight uh, and it says set up an application for users interested in joining your guild so including questions why do you want to join this guild or what's your favorite dinosaur and why it could be whatever uh, so essentially you're making the application questions so that when someone does uh, send in an application uh, they'll have to answer all these questions before it actually gets sent to you uh, so you do get the option uh, to create uh, your own application uh, which is pretty fun because you could you could ask whatever you like um, and you can see you can choose to make the responses be a short paragraph a long paragraph or multiple choice uh, so depending on how how elite the uh, guild is uh, you might have a question that would require a long paragraph or description uh, to actually join uh, and it says you do have to have at least one question set up to proceed so you have to have at least one question for your application to even create the guild in the first place but that of course makes sense and it says now you're done sign the charter and your guild is now created so next thing how to make changes to your guild so this is what the guild settings will look like uh, you'll go to your server settings like in your regular server including or i mean assuming that it is on guild setting on then you'll click on guild settings uh, on the tab on the side and then it shows all the different guild settings on the edge here uh, so just na navigate tap on server settings and navigate to build guild settings tab and here you go through any of your guild settings and make adjustments so it's basically all the same settings that you went through uh, when you first created the guild uh, but this time you can change it to whatever you like next part is how to approve or reject applications as you can see on your guild itself above the events tab like some servers they have an events tab like this one here one event um, there will be a member of the application thing and it'll show you how many there are uh, if there are any at all uh, and then it'll, you'll tap on that uh, member of the application tab if you have any review you'll also see a number indicator so there will be a number ind indicator on how many are are waiting then you can click on the application uh, and then there'll be these options so it'll be a approve and a, a reject option uh, it'll show the date of it being issued it'll show the uh, questions and what their answers were uh, and there's also a start interview button so it says if you want to learn more about the user that applied to your guild you can tap a start interview to create a group chat with the user and any other admins in your guild this allows you to get to know one another and more and see if the guild is right fit for them so this is a really cool option uh, so it's not like you have to blindly accept people based solely off their questions and answers because you know they might you know they might not be uh, truthful in their answers and you could create a group chat within your server by the way which is really cool uh, with the user and any other admins in your guild so you could add like other staff members if you want uh, to also talk to them uh, so this is you can leave this tab anytime when you're finished reviewing applications last part here is how to join a guild and it says there's three ways discovery tab invite links and guild tags once again currently an experiment and only available to a select number of users now you may find some people uh, that's already in a guild yes you could probably still join the guild if well if they actually accept it uh, you could probably still join a guild uh, but it's only available to certain users so it is an experiment uh, so not everyone can be inside of one or, or at least own one uh, so discovery tab it says if you tap on the discovery tab you can see a list of available guilds currently right now you cannot there isn't uh, any guilds on the discovery tab but soon in the future probably uh, or whenever it's out of experiment you will be able to see them uh, and the next is invite link so you can simply just create an invite link to your guild which is just like any other discord server of course uh, and then lastly the guild tag itself which is the coolest part uh, is where you could click on any guild tag and then click on the apply to join button uh, and then when you click on that, it'll pull up the application, you can finish it, and it'll be sent to them, and they can either approve or reject it. So, in that case though, that is a wrap on guilds. I will probably make another video once it is out for the public. Uh, just going, just re, uh, reinstating uh, what I've went over here. Uh, so you can see what it's like to actually create it in first person POV. I think they could like make uh, like an increased member... Uh, requirement like I feel like they should be able to you or you should be able to uh, change the member uh, maximum like like maybe from maybe there's like a scroll wheel and you could change it from like 50 members to like 
500 like there's still a, a max cap but the cap is like a little bit higher uh, so you could choose like a really really exclusive server like for 50 members or 100 members or it could be all the way up to like 500 members because like some exclusive things there's a lot of people in it but it's still exclusive relative to the uh, original server size or whatever right uh, but essentially though that is guilds I hope uh, that that um, everyone gets a chance uh, to try these out because it does look pretty interesting and pretty cool I'm not gonna lie uh, and once again you know if you have access to guilds let me know in the comments below as well as what are your thoughts about guilds I think I, 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 I don't think they're a bad idea I think there could be a few things tweaked about it um, it seems like discord might be going in a different path but it's hard to tell uh, but we have to you know just see uh, how it goes uh, and we'll see how they if, if this changes at all uh, throughout the days of it or throughout the days until it fully releases uh, so in that case though that's a wrap to this video hopefully you guys enjoyed please 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 subscribe I'm trying to go to 500 I'm trying to reach as many people as I can with these tutorials and once again it means a lot uh, when you guys watch my videos it means so much to me uh, especially if someone comments or if someone joins uh, my new discord server which by the way is in the link in the description below uh, so hope you guys enjoy your day and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye